Hello, welcome back to another video. Hotty toddy, you all, and I hope everything's going great for you, wherever you are. <laughs> and in my last video, I mentioned Mighty Jove of Tupelo. He invited me over to do the collection, and he bought a route. That's right, U-turn machines. A whole route. Eight machines for $600. That includes locations. And following Joe around for that day, I recorded a lot of content, and instead of making a big four-hour <laughs> video on here on YouTube, let's concentrate on the route he bought today. A bunch of U-turns. And we see them for sale on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and I've never seen them in person. And now that I've experienced collecting from them, I don't think I'll ever buy them. But Mighty Joe did, but the price was right. And he's got the locations, in my opinion, that's worth it. And he's going to take these eight-cylinder ones, knock them down to four in the future. But we also placed new machines, and he also taught me another lesson, which would be another video about selling 50-cent gumballs. That's right. I'm going to try it here in Oxford. Here we go. This was the first location Joe took me to. It's a manufacturing plant. Um, I forget what, <laughs> what they made there, something electrical. But here's the break room and it's really loud in there. This is the break room. <laughs> so hopefully you can hear me and Joe's conversation. Mm -hmm. I bought this off of this route off of the piece and he had Seven of these, and then I think the fourth one. Huh. You got a little bit of everything in there. Wow. I probably won't even worry about this machine. What about that one? <laughs> Sold out or what? Well, I could put some public jewelry in there. You know, like the hot metallic, my jewelry. I've tried hot tamales and Mike and Ice. Yeah. None of that sells. I end up eating it all myself. We go get the bucket that just empty it out. All right. Meanwhile, while Joe goes back out to the truck, check out all of this in the break room he's competing against. It's like a big ass honor box, an honor system in this break room he's competing against. Sodas, candy bars, chips. But still, these U turns. Are making a profit. I mean, look at these machines. Eight selections. He's got a little bit of everything chocolate covered raisins, gumballs, MMs, Mike and Ike's, peanuts, and the list just goes on and on. Now, let's check out how long it takes him just to service one machine. He's got to literally break it down <laughs> all the compartments. It's amazing. How long has it been since you serviced these? I bought these from the, I bought this route with these on it about two weeks ago. Oh, okay. So this is the first time first collection? And the guy actually told me he said that uh they do pretty decent, so
one thing I don't really like about it is the plastic bits. These plastic? Yeah. I've never seen one of these in real life. I always see them for sale on Facebook or whatever. Yeah, the bottom did real good, and uh, the length of time it takes to get your quarters out of these machines, I'm going to spare you him collecting from the second machine <laughs> and servicing it. These U-turns, they do make money, and bless his heart, in this factory, he's up against a lot of competition with the honor system going on. But just look at this, he's just collecting quarters left and right. I won't be investing in these U-turns after <laughs> this first location. <laughs> just visiting this first location lets me know that it's, it's a lot of work with these U-turns. <laughs> Alright, on to the second location. This is another factory in Tupelo, and they make pillows. I asked one of the employees, they make anything else besides pillows? And they say, yeah, sometimes they get an order in for something fluffy. <laughs> but mainly they make pillows. So in their break room, this is part of one of the locations Joe bought with the U-turn machines. And you'll notice next to it, there's an abandoned Northwest. I own this exact machine. It was given to me by one of my locations. It was abandoned. I asked for it. They gave it to me. They said it was sitting in their shop for two years. They called the number on the machine. No answer. And I said if he ever shows up, he or her, to collect their machine, give him my number and I'll happily return it. And as we speak, it's sitting in my Airbnb making money off my guest. But again, this is another eight-headed U-turn machine. And you turn and turn and turn just to get the lock off of it. <laughs> and in this location, you'll see lots of just varieties to choose from that he inherited. The M&M's, Mike and Ike's. But to get to the quarters, it takes a long time. Now in this break room, not too many vending machines to choose from or anything, but Joe is making money. Now this is a two-week collection. And one day he'll get back to this machine to turn it into a forehead and only offer four different products. And on the way out of this place, he did stop by the management and ask them if they would give him that Northwest. And he'll probably get it when he checks back. Now here's the next location we went to, a hardware store in Tupelo. Very well established, been there forever from the looks of it. And another 8-head U-turn that he got in this route. It's got the runts in there, peanut M&M's, trail mix. So if Joe's making a big profit, he'll, he'll probably get his money back on his investment because of the product left in all these machines we've seen so far. And look at this. It's still turning quarters. After two weeks, it's got quarters. You'll notice on this U-turn, it does have the metal mechanisms. Now I wonder if the previous owner had to you know, upgrade because I think originally these machines come with just plastic mechanisms. 
Now then, this is the laundromat where you saw in the last video that the triple head rhino was taken outside and smashed. <laughs> and Joe replaced it with the 50 cent rhinos. And he's going to sell blow pop and he's making a killing on it. He, he, ha he said he has to empty this machine every week or the quarters just stop the mechanism. But this video is about the U-turn. And with this location, he's got the U-turn. Now, I noticed in this laundromat, it only had a Coke machine. So this U-turn is the only option if you want some snacks. And in this video, I'm, I'm sparing you the time to put these machines back together. <laughs> but here's another thing with the U-turn. If you don't line up those coin trays, the quarter's going to go everywhere in there, and it just takes up more time. making a profit now the laundromat here in oxford they won't even return my call i stopped by whatever and it's still on my bucket list i want to get a laundromat here we are at the ford dealership ford's not selling many cars and there was no inventory a big building with a big showroom with not one ford product <laughs> and out on, on their lot a lot of used cars but again, Joe really was a wise man, and he ran the numbers, got these locations cheap with the U-turns, and the U-turns are profitable. Every location I followed Joe to, the U-turns had quarters in them after two weeks. Now, who's spending money at the Ford dealership with no customers? <laughs> Nobody's buying a new car nowadays. It's got to be the employees. That, that's, that's the only thing, that's the conclusion I can come to. And look at all these quarters. It makes me second think that I'm going to go to the car dealerships here in Oxford. Even though they're not getting customers... The employees are still spending money on the bulk vending machines. This location just amazed me. And I'm a car guy. I'm always looking at the cars and everything. And this is another location. Mahoney. Cowboy Mahoney's. They sell electronics and furniture. We have a store here in Oxford. And again, the U-turn is still making a profit. Now, this is the forehead one. And in the future, all the rest of his U-turns will be foreheads. Even the forehead takes quite some time <laughs> to get to the quarters. And Joe found a 1964 silver quarter. Bonus. <laughs> I have yet to get a, a silver quarter. And you'll notice with this location, he could sneak in a 50 cent rhino bulk machine that sold <laughs> a 50 cent gumball. I'm going to, I have to try this. Now, the blow pop gumballs are premium and they do cost a little more wholesale. And selling them for 50 cents. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try it. But this video is about the U-turn machine. And they're making money. I'll spare you the video footage of him having to put them back together. But i got to try selling the blow pops for 50 cents. Shoot, Oxford can afford it. <laughs> now, here's what I'm used to. The rhinos. This is what I invest in. And again, I had, I got so much content from Joe and Tupelo that I'm just going to break these videos down on the type of, you know, side hustles he's got going on. And at this location, it's a corporate owned thing and they automatically put in their, you know, beaver bulk machines as you see to the left there. That's just a given. 
and Joe was still able to grab this location to, to compete against the Beavers over there. God bless him. <laughs> All right. That's it for this video. And again, comment down below. And Joe's taught me a lot. He even showed me how to get Coke machines for free. That's right. You get free Coke machines from Coca-Cola. And if you want me to make a video about that experience with Joe and Tupelo, comment down below. I, w I was shocked that Coca-Cola would just let anyone use their machines and not look for a credit check and all of a sudden, you know. Comment down below if you want to see a video about how to sell Cokes from Coca-Cola for free. All right, we back out reading the mail. Bye-bye.